The Commission on Appointments, Filipino, Komisayan sa Pagaram, abbreviated as CA, is a body of the Congress of the Philippines as provided by the Constitution. It confirms certain appointments made by the President of the Philippines. Article 7, Section 16 of the 1987 Constitution reads, the President shall nominate and, with the consent of the Commission on Appointments, appoint the heads of the executive departments, ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, or officers of the armed forces from the rank of colonel or naval captain, and other officers whose appointments are vested in him in this constitution. He shall also appoint all other officers of the government whose appointments are not otherwise provided for by law, and those whom he may be authorized by law to appoint. The Congress may, by law, vest the appointment of other officers lower in rank in the President alone, in the courts, or in the heads of departments, agencies, commissions, or boards. The only government official that is exempted is the Vice President's appointment to a cabinet post. The nomination of a person to the Vice Presidency due to vacancy is handled by both Houses of Congress, voting separately. During the operation of the 1935 Constitution, replaced in 1971, the Commission was composed of 12 Senators and 12 Representatives. During the operation of the 1973 Constitution, the President appointed at will, without checks and balances, from the then Parliament. The current Constitution, which was ratified in 1987, brought back the 25-member Commission. Officials confirmed. Heads of executive departments Ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls Officers of the armed forces from the rank of colonel or naval captain Regular members of the Judicial and Bar Council Chairman and Commissioners of the Civil Service Commission Chairman and Commissioners of the Commission on Elections Chairman and Commissioners of the Commission on Audit Members of the Regional and Consultative Commission However, the appointments of all judges and the Ombudsman shall not be confirmed by the Commission on Appointments. Instead, they are recommended by the Judicial and Bar Council, and the President shall select from the recommendations. Composition the Commission is composed of the Senate President, the ex officio Chairman, 12 Senators and 12 members of the House of Representatives. Members from each House of Congress are elected based on proportional representation from the political parties and parties or organizations registered under the party list system represented. The Chairman of the Commission shall vote only in case of a tie. It shall act on all appointments submitted within 30 session days of Congress. It shall be governed by a majority vote of all members. Procedure A president can either make a nomination or an appointment. Either action involves the commission. Most presidential actions are ad interim appointments, done when Congress is not in session. In these cases, the appointment allows the official to discharge the duties related to the office immediately. The ad interim appointment ceases to be valid if the Commission explicitly rejects the appointment, or if the Commission bypasses the appointment, or if the Commission confirms the appointment. If the Commission rejects the appointment, the official is no longer allowed to discharge the duties related to the office, and the President has to appoint someone else. If the Commission bypasses the official, the President can reappoint that person. The President can also nominate an official if Congress is in session. In a regular nomination, the official can only discharge the duties once the Commission consents with the appointment. Just as other legislative bodies, the Commission is divided into different committees. Each appointment is coursed through the committee concerned. After hearings are held, the committee decides to confirm or reject the appointment. The Commission and Bank then deliberates on whether to accept the committee's decision. Meeting place The Commission meets at the GSIS complex in Pasay, the seat of the Senate. Current members Members for the 17th Congress as of March 7, 2017 Rejection of appointment Rejection by the Commission of the President 
S appointment is very rare. Usually, due to the Padrino system of patronage politics, the President's party controls a supermajority of votes in the House of Representatives, thus mirroring its composition of the Commission. This means appointments are almost always are approved, although some are not without difficulty. During the ongoing presidency of Rodrigo Duterte, five of his appointments were rejected. These are Perfecto Yuse, for Secretary of Foreign Affairs Gina Lopez, for Secretary of Environment and Natural Resources Judy Tagwawalo, for Secretary of Social Welfare and Development Rafael V. Mariano, for Secretary of Agrarian Reform Pauline Uviel, for Secretary of Health Other administrations also had a few of its appointments rejected. These were Ricardo Saludo, for Chairman of the Civil Service Commission in 2009 by Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Ramon del Rosario Jr., for Secretary of Finance in 1993 by Fidel V. Ramos. See also Appointments Clause, Clause in the United States Constitution where the Commission is based from References External links Official website